Jason warned me that I have to find a way to deal with things, so I went to the nursery. I must have fell asleep. Sonny, I heard a baby. You were the source of that file that incriminates Sonny. I'm sure you kept a copy for your own insurance. I want it now. Otherwise, he's not only going to walk, I'm going to lose custody of my stepdaughter. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't help you, Lancey. I can't hand over a file that's supposed to incriminate Sonny if I never had there, it to begin no with. There's no reason to lie, right? You wanted me to go after Sonny so you wouldn't get your hands dirty and possibly alienate your daughter. That's an interesting theory. Of course, I still haven't seen anything in the way of proof. Okay, this is the way it's going to boil down. You either find a copy of that file, or I'm going to charge your daughter with arson. I know something about how you feel. I miss our little girl every, every minute. Sometimes, you know, I feel like Sonny did tell me. I just feel like, like, it was completely my fault that we lost her. It's not your fault. There's nothing you could have done. Well, right? I, well, the thing is, I could have, I could have done some things, you know, I could have reassured you, right? Instead of always telling you my rights as a father, you know, I could have... Look, Dr. Meadow said that there is nothing anyone could have done. <laughs> that the abrupt placenta would happen regardless. I just don't see how something so awful was meant to be. That's all. I don't know. Yeah. I just realized it wasn't wasn't there to help you out, and I just... No. Sonny, you had your own pain to process. Well, I know, but, you know... Christina getting so sick, I just... I understand. I do. But the good thing is that you, uh... Jason was there for you, you know? You weren't alone. Hmm? Jason has been incredible. Consistent. Even when I tried to shut him out, he was still there. I don't really know how I would have gotten through the first few days without him. From what I 
understand Jason's going to be around as long as you need him. Well, I should, I should be going. Thanks for stopping by. I can certainly understand why you're desperate to get your hands on that file, but I can't help you, Lansing, because I never saw the damn thing. And as far as pressing charges against Carly for arson, I've already told you she was here with me when the fire in your apartment started. Okay, I kind of figured you were going to stonewall. You really should run for office, too. Oh, yeah, maybe I would, except for I'm telling the truth. Okay, well, we need to make that official. I need a sworn statement from you about your whereabouts with your daughter that night, including a detailed explanation of how you passed the time. Hey, man, I got no problem with that. Set it up. Well, we're going to do it right here and right now. See, I'm not going to give you and Carly a chance to synchronize your stories. I'm going to get a statement from you, then I'm going to get a statement from her. And if they differ, I mean even slightly, then that means you, Carly, and Dr. Steven Weber are going to be in for one rough ride. Why are you here? It's a legal matter. Is this a bad time? Now's as good a time as any. How's Christina? She's much better, Sam, thanks to you. No need for any thanks, really. If there's anything I'm that I can fine. ever do for you. Thank you. Judge's calendar. He has an opening in two days, so I moved up the hearing. Alexis, if you have any objections? What's the big rush? You don't trust your blackmailing tactics? You you, you getting a little nervous now? That you you know you got to throw down with me? I've taken the liberty of preparing testimony for you. I've left no room for improvisation, so I'd like to go over it with you word for word. I need you to have the same Mayacopa moment that you had with Carly and her sons, and then I need you to come to the conclusion that Christina is safer with her mother and that her mother should retain full and permanent custody. No need for furtive looks. I'm quite certain that Sonny filled you in. Yeah, and how you're blackmailing him to give up his daughter? Nice. If that look and that tone is supposed to make me feel like some sort of a monster, it doesn't. I'm acting in the best interest of Christina, and I'm quite certain that if you were in my place, you would be making this so-called blackmail look like child's play. So, Alexis, pushed up the date of the custody hearing, so now we got to be in court by the end of the week. And Rick is pressuring Durant for a copy of that file. Obviously, Durant denies having it, but I, I put a bug in his room, so we're going to know the truth soon enough. Unlike my clueless brother who's running around like a lunatic trying to get his hands on a file that his own wife is using the black man. Who says uh, there's no justice? Rick made a, a marriage straight out of hell. Anything else we should know? At yeah, this point? Rick told Durant that if he didn't come up with a copy of the file, that he was going to have Carly arrested for arson. <laughs> okay, you know what? We need proof that Durant stole that file, put it in Rick's hand before everything blows sky high. Because, you know, at this moment, anything could happen. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, I realize that. Um, stands on the surveillance, right. Durant's room. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell Durant myself. Okay, this is something I need you to take care of first. <sighs> Sonny told me that he found you in the nursery. Sam, you didn't have to do it alone. I did what I had to do. Okay. Do you want to rest? You haven't been out of the hospital that long. No, no, I'm not resting. And neither are you because we have some work to do. Is that the uh, last of it? <sighs> yeah, just make sure people get it who need it, okay? Wait. Hey. Is that seem to be all right? Yeah, you know, eventually. It's just, it's just really hard right now. It's gonna keep it, but... Yeah, my uh, sister works with uh, foster care. She'll make sure nothing goes to waste. Okay, will you thank her for me? Yeah, we will do.
Sam, it, it's not too late to stop Max if, if you don't want to let go of the baby stings right now. There's no reason to keep them, Jason. Are you okay? Yeah. No. I'm screaming inside and I'm just trying not to hear it, you know? I've had a lot of difficult things to deal with in my life, but nothing has ever been quite this bad. I understand. I know you do. I have never had anyone show me more kindness and understanding than you have. I wanted to thank you so much. So I'm just going to go upstairs. Go ahead. What are you going to do? I'm going to stay down here. I'll be fine. Really. Thank you.